Hey guys, what is up? This is Danny from Plug and Play, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about how to make this nifty little bounce animation inside of After Effects. It's super easy, shouldn't take that long to learn, and you can use it in a lot of different animation styles. So let's get into it. Alright, so let's jump right into it. As you can see, I have a new scene here, and there's no keyframes, no animation going on yet. And I have this shadow on its own layer that uh, is on top of this ball, and I also have this ball right here. Let's start by making a new null object. And we're going to hold shift and parent this to the ball. So when you hold shift, it's going to snap it to the very center of the ball. Now we're going to unparent that, and we're going to parent the ball and the shadow to this new null object. Now we're going to call up position, and we're going to separate these dimensions. All right, let's go ahead and start by putting a keyframe on this Y position here. Now let's go forward about 15 frames, and let's set another keyframe position. Um, let's go forward about 17 frames, set another keyframe position, uh, 15 frames, and then about 13, and then 10, and then let's go seven, and then let's go five frames forward and set another Y position keyframe. Okay, let's go to this initial first keyframe here, and we're going to set this um, up in the air for how high we want the ball to initially start bouncing from. So let's say it drops from about this height. Now let's go into the graph editor. So the idea here is that we're not going to have any keyframes on when the ball is bouncing up in the air. We're only going to have keyframes on the floor from where it bounces from. So if you select all of your keyframes that are on the floor, hold Option and click on them, it's going to add Bezier handles to all of them. Okay, let's start with this first keyframe here on the floor. And to separate these uh, as your handle, sometimes you need to hold option, other times you just need to click on them. But as you can see, if we hold option here, we're going to drag this up into the air. And same here with this uh, subsequent one. Now the idea here is that we want to make these curves for when it's bouncing up into the air about half the height of the previous curve. Now that all depends on how bouncy you want your object to be. Obviously like a bowling ball falling down is going to be a lot less bouncy than a ping pong ball or in this instance a basketball. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go and add all those curves to all these keyframes. Okay, so I've added all the different um, curves to all these different keyframes here. Now like I said, um, we're not having any keyframes for when the ball is bouncing up in the air. All we're doing is using these Bezier handles to make this curve for uh, the ball moving up in Y position. Um, another tip is we want to have these angles of these Bezier handles kind of be identical throughout. So as you can see, um, we can use my playhead here as a, as a reference point, and you can see that this angle here is a little bit bigger than this angle. So let's move this angle out a little bit more, and we're trying to make these identical. So the same velocity of them coming into this keyframe will be the same velocity as them exiting this keyframe. Now let's go ahead and we're gonna go through and try to make all these different angles almost identical. All right, so we've gone ahead and made all these different exiting and um, intro uh, angles here on these Bezier handles almost identical throughout. So let's do a little preview here and see what we got so far. Not bad. So as you can see, that's the first part of this animation. We might want to add another Bezier handle to this intro animation so that it starts from a standstill and then slowly, gradually enters into a more drastic speed here as we get to this floor, first floor keyframe. All right, great. Now let's go and add a keyframe position to this X position. And we're going to want to start this uh, first keyframe on the X position, position off screen here. And as we get towards the end of these keyframes on the Y position, we're going to go a few frames forward after that, 
and we're going to add a, another exposition keyframe and let's have that go all the way over here. Now as you can see in the viewer port here, we have, you can see the keyframed um, Y position animations that we have for all these different bounces, right? It's coming into this first keyframe, it's hitting that keyframe, and it's immediately bouncing up. So a quick RAM preview. All right, great. And the reason why we attach the ball and shadow to this null here is because we want to go ahead and rotate this ball without affecting the shadow. So let's set a rotation keyframe on the ball. And let's go to this last uh, X position on the null and set this rotation to be however much you want. You kind of just got to play around with that and hopefully it'll end up looking good with some tweaking. Now let's select both of these. And we're going to use uh, this cool script called Motion by Mount Mo MoGraph. Uh, you can use any um, easy method that you want, whether that's right clicking, going on to uh, Keyframe Assistant and hitting Easy e Easy Ease, or whatever your heart desires. All right, there you go. So it's pretty simple. The main thing to keep in mind here is these Y position keyframes. That's really what's dri driving the majority of this animation. And it's all about tweaking these, uh, these keyframes here. That'll really be able to get you all different types of bounce animations. You'll be able to tweak how bouncy you want an object to be. Like I said, if it's a bowling ball, these, uh, these curves will not be nearly as high. They're going to drop off much quicker. So you'll probably only have like this many keyframes and they're going to uh, like I said be drastically uh, smaller here so that it almost feels like dead weight but we have a basketball in this case so that's not what we're looking for uh, another quick tip for if you want to shorten the amount of time that is bouncing if you highlight all of your keyframes and hold option you can click on the last keyframe and drag these all proportionally to scale them down all right, so this has just been an outline of exactly how to do the bounce animations inside of After Effects. There's a lot of things that you can add on to this effect, such as adding different streaks to the bounces, adding some squash and stretch, some accents for when the ball hit, hits the floor. Um, unlimited possibilities. I just wanted to give you guys some good building blocks to start out with. Well, this has been Danny from Plug and Play. I'll catch you later.